a what's going on ladies and gentlemen my name is rage and we are back today finally uh with an up-to-date arena video here for you folks especially since it's been quite some time since i've done this because i've actually stayed in the top 10 for quite some time now and to be honest i wasn't doing attacks and i was also was not getting attacks so there wasn't really a need for me um to make a revision video but finally we're seeing more and more odins come into the mix here so I do want to spend a bit of time showing, showcasing for you guys now my strategy of how I stay top to 10, um, especially in some of the mirror matches that we're seeing uh, overall for the opponents that we're up against. So for those of you that are unaware, obviously having Mephisto and Odin, these are the top of the meta right now. For my defense respectively, this is currently what I'm using, which is essentially the meta with Odin, Mephisto, Apocalypse, rounding out that with Thanos Endgame and a Gladiator on defense. But attacking wise, it is gonna be a little different. As you'll see here, I actually swapped my Gore in for Gladiator uh, with him being positioned out just because he's better as a defensive character. So guys, without further ado, I do have some gameplay footage for you. Two different battles that we go through, but it's gonna be a mirror match and you'll see kind of the overall strategy and how you should be uh, attempting the different attacks. And that's gonna hopefully give you guys a better fighting chance as well in the mirror matches. So without further ado, let's get started. So, in my honest opinion, guys, um, I do think that any defenses that have gore on the defense is actually weaker. Uh, these are the ones you want to be attacking because if you get an opportunity to. Um, I think there's a big advantage just because you're not up against a gladiator taunt. Now, having said that, um, obviously, there's still a little bit of RNG in here. But you'll see, typically, when I'm going through this, and we're pretty close in combat power against my enemies, even if they have you know, higher built-up characters in terms of star levels, uh, which is typically the territory I'm in because of the whales and all that up against or spenders, likely. So, very important. You have to use Mephisto's basic, uh, sorry, first scroll here because of the fact that it can actually reduce a significant chunk of HP off of Gladiator. Very, very important. Um, I know some of us may be prone to be using the third scroll to cause that exhaust, but remember, because the enemy has Odin, they can clear the exhaust, so it doesn't really matter. Um, at this point, you could have done the special on Gladiator as well, but I like to focus Odin whenever I can because now, check this out. Because we were able to weaken Gladiator to lower than 50%, we actually get a Pox turn right away. And it's important because if you don't have the taunt on Gladiator, you could have aimed that, um, that ability actually on Odin, but in this case, it didn't work. Now, this is the part where it's important to bring an enemy Gorin because with him using a special, you can ability to block the Odin, which is very, very pivotal because... Um, that's going to give you a significant advantage uh, in terms of being able to just have um, the turn a meter advantage against your opponent. We can get our ultimate off of Odin sooner than the enemy Odin, and that's very, very important. At this point, I am just kind of managing waves and trying to utilize the stun where I can, especially with trauma. So if you can take advantage of it before Mephisto goes, even better. At this point, likely one of the um, Thanos Endgames will probably proc their passive. In this case, mine didn't, but enemy did but it doesn't really matter because again that ability block timing on odin is going to be very meaningful as you'll see here so now we're going ahead using odin to target the enemy odin they're a turn behind us which is very very pivotal and important here and now we should be able to get on our, our apocalypse turn because thankfully the enemy that we were up against replaced um their apocalypse actually with the uh uh, sorry, the, we, we finished them off already, so he's been taken care of. But yeah, as you can see here, we're in well control. Our finally our passive from Thanos spawns. We completely crush them with the devastating ultimate from Odin. So as you can see, it, it was just so one-sided. Doesn't even feel like a mirror match because we attacked properly and we used proper attack order, which is super important, especially against these mirror matches that we're up against. Now I want to showcase for you guys another example where a Gladiator is more of the more common enemy that we're up against. This battle is probably going to be more realistic of what you'll see uh, in the end game content just because of the fact that usually Gladiator is on defense and that's why it's important to focus on him um, and hence his strategy. So very similar to what we were dealing with before, um, we want to use uh, once again the first scroll on the Gladiator and again it, the, the reason for this is so that, that way we bring him close to 50% but you'll see now we do actually have a chance here to use the special uh, this time on gladiator so we are going to do that um we didn't get the taunt on odin like we did the last battle that's why i took advantage of it but if you don't it's okay because this is probably more reflective of what you'll likely see um now once again similar to the first battle we activate the apocalypse ultimate 
and it's gonna right away give us a turn because we brought we brought gladiator below 50 percent now interestingly enough this is where odin gets us haunt and we are able to take advantage of that and this is kind of really key because if you're able to do what i'm doing right now although this time we weren't able to use the gore special to ability block odin this time he has enough bleeds that by the time it hits odin's turn thanks to apocalypse's um ultimate and falcon punch um this is actually a really good moment because now check this out odin falls and it's game over five on four with this kind of team dynamic and especially since we already clears cleared the exhaust and we had the special on odin pretty meaningful guys so yes their annihilators will get their turns but the advantage we have having odin and mephisto versus them losing their odin you know very very quick in the beginning is all the difference that you need to to win this easy mirror match now so now we're basically just going through the motions right they can get their turns as much as they can yes their apocalypse can obviously uh use his ability because we don't have a gladiator but we're able to wipe out their odin who's the most important character um especially in these mirror matches now check us out massive ultimate once again similar to the first battle boom 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 and just like that down goes the dynamite making these mirror matches super, super easy. So yeah, um, again guys, this is my most up-to-date up video here of being back in the top 10, because now that we're seeing more Odins, there's more attacks taking place. So hopefully this is helpful. I know it may not be applicable guys. So what I'll do below is I'll also link to my other arena videos that I've made before, um, before I've reached this place, obviously, right? I built up my way with uh, the annihilated characters and then slowly, add, slowly added in Mephisto. And then finally as well, Odin now that's part of my roster and development and yeah it's been an unreal 500 power cores every single day barely any attacks but now you can see how one-sided some of these mirror matches can be so hopefully this is helpful let me know what you guys think in the comments below thank you for your time as always and i'll catch you guys in the next one